chapter 8, lesson 2, is volumes of liquid. Okay, so here, the same formula is used for solid and liquid because it's just in the container. The only difference is the unit of measurement is different. So again, volume is length times breadth times height, and volume is side times side times side, or edge times edge times edge. Okay, now the unit of measurement for the solid is cm cubed or meters cubed. So this is for solid. So we saw that in the last lesson. However, now we're doing liquids. So the volume of liquid is measured in liters or milliliter. So this is in liquid. Okay, so which means since the liquid is poured into the solid, we need to be able to convert the unit of measurement of a solid to a unit of measurement of the liquid. And the conversion is 1 centimeter cube is equal to 1 milliliter. And remember, milli means a thousand. So 1 liter is 1,000 milliliter. Okay, so our problems will come from page pages 49 and 50. Okay, so just a last reminder, for these problems, we want to, again, make sure to write down the givens and write down the formulas that we will be using. Okay, so number 1C of page 49 says, A cubical tank is two-thirds filled with water. Okay, so this is height of water is equal to two-thirds the height of container. Okay, so then it says the volume of the water in the tank is 18 liters. So the volume of water is 18 liters. Okay, then it says find the base area of the tank. So we want the area of base. Okay, so um, there's the book will use uh, their method and I also will use my method. But uh, to reduce the confusion, I'll just go ahead and use my method because their method is a bit confusing. Okay, so I'll start with, we know that two-thirds is equal to 18 liters. So, two-thirds is equal to 18 liters. Okay, what we want is the volume of the whole thing. So, if we want the volume of the whole thing, then that means this is, question mark, this is one, the whole thing. So, this is only two-thirds of the height of the container, and we want the fall height, which is 100%. And we learned from before that 100% is written as 1. Okay, so which means to be able to find this, what we would want to do is multiply by 3 over 2. So if we multiply by 3 over 2, that means this volume here must be 27 liters. Okay, but the question is, it's, it's asking for the area of the base. And it's a cubical tank. So that means the side. <clears throat> so if we look at this drawing, the side, the side, and the height are actually the same. Okay, so which means if I look at this, this will be converted to a solid is to 7, 0, 0, 0 milliliter. Okay, I gotta convert first to milliliter so that I can convert to centimeters cubed. So this is 27000 centimeters cubed. Okay, so which means if I'm looking for the area of the base, that means I gotta figure out first how much a side or an edge of the cube is. Okay, so 
To do that, we know volume is side times side times side, which means the side is the cube root of the volume, which is cube root of 27,000. Now, if we put that in our calculator, we should get that this is 30 centimeters. Okay, which means to find the area of this base, the area will be side times side, which means 30 times 30 is 900 centimeters squared. Continuing on to page 50, problem 1E says the cubical container of edge 30 centimeters is half filled with water. Okay, so that means the side is 30 centimeters. Okay, and it's half filled. So that means height of water is equal to one half height of container. Okay, so then it says all the water is poured into an empty rectangular tank uh, that's measuring 25 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 35 centimeters. So we pour and we have length, breadth, and height. Uh, this is a container. Okay, new. Okay, so the length is 25 centimeters, 20 centimeters, and 35 centimeters. Okay, then it says find the height of the water level in that rectangular tank. So this is the height of the container. We want the height of the water after we pour from the cubical tank onto the rectangular tank. Okay, so this is half filled and then we're gonna pour it onto here. And this is 25 centimeters, this is 20 centimeters, and this is 35 centimeters. But the water level is only up to here, it won't fill it up. Okay, so which means the first thing that we need to do is figure out how much water there is in the first container. Okay, so the volume of the first container is side times side times side. Okay, but the volume of the water is 30 by 30 by 30 by one half. Okay, so the 30 by 30 times 30 is the edge. Okay, but we're only taking half of the height. Okay, when we multiply all of those together, we should get 13500. Zero, zero. Okay, so that is the volume of the water that's supposed to be poured into here. Okay, so what we're looking for is the height of the water. So that means this is volume of water is equal to length times breadth times height of water. Because the length and the, the length and the breadth won't change. It's the height that will be different. Okay, so since we're looking for the height of the water, height of water is equal to volume of water divided by length times breadth, as we saw in the last chapter. Okay, so which means, or in the last lesson, I'm sorry. So which means here, our volume is 13,500 divided by the length, which is 25, times the breadth, which is 20. Again, multiplying, then dividing, putting it as fractional form as I showed earlier, then we should get that this is 27 centimeters. So again, the process is write down the given, write down the formulas. 
and make sure that you're able to use your calculator because some of the numbers here are really greater than what the head can uh, can manage. That concludes lesson two of chapter eight, which also concludes the chapter, which also concludes the module, and concludes our year. I hope that these teaching strategies have helped you in teaching your kids, and I hope that you've enjoyed your learning journey with us.